Welcome everyone on Easy Channel. My dear friends, you can listen how much noisy this power inverter is. There is no load running at this time but still, its fan is running at full speed. So that means there is no built-in automatic fan control system in this power inverter. An expensive power inverter fan is automatically operated by the inverter itself. This makes them silent. In such a power inverter fan is on when there is too much load running. Otherwise, the fan is off or moves very slowly so it did not make any noise. In this video I will make such a system in which we can easily control the inverter fans. We can on the inverter fan whenever we feel there is a high load running at this time and we can off the fan when there is a low load running. This will make the inverter disturbance free. So let's start this process. So I take the power inverter to my workshop. Here I will do the processing. I have selected a very small sized switch. This switch can be set easily and it will not be noticeable. First I will remove its wires from the back and put them on a side. I have fast forwarded this clip so the video will not be too long. Then I will open the 4 screws from the front side of the inverter and then open the remaining 4 screws from the back of the inverter. So the inverter will open and I will do the modification. I will put the screws aside so they did not lost during work. open the inverter and I can see the fan connector and its wire. First the fan connector will be unplugged and then I will do the next process. Now I will use this SMD switch to control this inverter fan from the outside. To do this I have to set it somewhere on the inverter. I have already identified a place for this switch. There are small holes at the front of this inverter but they are too small for this switch. I will make one of the hole little bigger so the switch can fit properly. With the help of a drill machine I will make the hole a little bigger. I have used the same size drill bit. Whose diameter is the same as the SMD switch. Cutting the metal very slowly until I get my desired hole size. This switch has 3 and a half millimeter width so the drill bit is also 3 and a half millimeters in diameter. I have fast forwarded this clip so I can quickly show you the complete process. Now our switch is fitting very well. We will now move to the next step. In this phase I will make the connections of fan wires with the SMD switch. So due to this, I need some pieces of wires and some pieces of heat shrinks to cover the open joints. Now I am going to start the main and very sensitive part. This work must be done very carefully. First I will cut the red wire of the fan. Making the two separate joints so I can add a switch in a series. After this I will join two wires with both new ends. Then I will carefully solder wires with a switch. At the end I will cover all open connections with heat shrinks including switch and wire connections. You can now see how this work must be done. If this work is not done carefully then this whole inverter can be shorted or damaged and there will also be a risk of fire.
So friends you can see we have two separate connections now. I will join extra pieces of wires with that two joints. Before soldering I will put pieces of heat shrinks in the wires because after soldering there will be no way to add heat shrinks in the wires. And rather than heat shrinks, there is no other reliable method to cover the open joints. We can use tape but that did not perform well in this situation. Friends you have seen how I make a connection with the switch. Just like this, I will make another connection between the fan and the switch. Guys, you can see the pins of the switch, these are very small and close to each other. So I am very careful while soldering the connections. If the connection short by mistake, then this inverter can be damaged, which will not be repaired or very difficult to repair. I am connecting the extra wire with the third pin of the SMD switch. It has no use or need now, but later I plan to use the second side of the switch to decrease the speed of the fan rather than switch off the fan. Friends you can see I perfectly make the connection with the SMD switch. So there is nothing to worry about shortage. Now I am using magic bond to fix the switch strongly to its place. We can use glue but such glue that will not penetrate into the switch otherwise the switch will jam and will need to replace. Which will be very difficult to repeat the whole process. Almost all the major work is done and I am plugging the fan connector with the PCB board of the inverter. I will leave the inverter for 10 minutes so that the glue will dry. friends I am covering the extra wire into heat shrink. At this time all work is done and we can pack the inverter and use it. But friends here I found a small issue. The glue which we added to hold the switch was more than it need. 
so it blocked two extra ventilation holes and also a hurdle between the perfect assembling of the inverter. But I can quickly solve this issue with the tools. I have attached 2mm bit with the drill and it will open the closed ventilation holes of the inverter. And after this I will attach the saw blade with the drill and remove the additional glue. Which causes difficulty in perfectly closing of the upper cover of the inverter. clearly see the ventilation holes are open. Now I am using the saw blade to remove the extra glue from the body of the inverter. So friends work is completely done and I have achieved what I want. Now I can on and off the inverter fan whenever I want. I have made an easy way to make the inverter noise free. It's time to assemble the inverter and I will also show you a test demonstration. Friends, sometimes we do not need any kind of noise in our room. But also we cannot turn off the inverter to get rid of the noise because we need electricity. So in this way, we can control the noise of the inverter. There is no need to run the inverter fan all the time. An inverter fan is only needed when there is more than 50% load running on the inverter. We can turn off the inverter fan when there is less than 50% load. Many inverters have built-in fan control systems. But most inverters are without this feature. So with this method, we can control the fan as well. So friends we are at the test spot. I have plugged the load with the inverter. And then on the inverter. Currently the fan switch is on so you are listening to the fan noise. Now I will turn off the fan from the switch while the inverter is still running. But there will be no noisy environment at this time. So friends you can observe what has happened right now. I have successfully made this noisy inverter silent. You can see the switch is working very well. Now I can turn off the inverter fan when there is no need and I can turn it on when there is a need. This will eliminate noisiness and also make the fan life long lasting. So friends this video ends here. Thanks for watching and take care of yourself. Goodbye.